Oh, and then by the way, we sold the motorhome. We're going to full time in that now. That's not true. That's not true. We're full timing in that. Wah, wah. Frick, man. We're like right here. It's not. I mean, it's so weird how disgusting. Oh, hey. We're we're down. We're not doing an official beginning. I'm just talking. There's Jen. We're we're down on the the docks here in Florence. But as you might be able to hear, it's windy. It's like breezy, maybe. Yesterday was really windy. Yesterday we were down on uh, whatever. South Jetty Beach. Yeah, or we're, we're south of the jetty on the beach there. And I mean, it was howling. I mean, I was fishing and stuff. And at first it was just like normal beach wind. <laughs> By the time we left, I mean, it was, must have been like just steady, 30 mile per hour, like. Yeah, I actually I mean, walked down the beach and had to like lean forward to like keep myself upright. It was blowing so hard, it was that? crazy. Can you guys see that in the background? Can you yeah. see this dark? It's fog. Yeah, that must be the remnants of fog. Wow. I look back and I'm like, what the heck's going on over there? Wow. It's weird. Anyway. We, we came down to Florence today. We're gonna go to Novelli's, which is that that floating building back there that you can barely see, and get some uh, crab chowder and uh, crab cocktail. Hopefully they'll have cocktail this time. I mean, it's early in the day. Last time we came here, it was like late in the afternoon, like 4, 4.30 or something. And you, know, you may remember, if you watched, the, the people in front of us, there's three items on Novelli's menu. Like crab cocktail, crab chowder, and something I can't else. Remember what the other thing is. They're all, and they all have crab in them. And those people are like, um, uh, and they were there for like five minutes, and then they ended up buying the last crab cocktail. So Jen ended up just getting bread. Yeah. But we went to Moe's, which is right down there too, mm -hmm. and got her food, and I ate again. He had more chowder actually to try and and, uh, and like some kind of thing. crab, crab patty melt thing yeah i can't remember what i had it was good but anyway we're just we're exploring florence today yeah i don't know where we're gonna go i think we're gonna go get some more olives though from the olive pit i think is what it's called because yeah. the olives were fantastic the olives and the the pepperoncinis oh were, were amazing there they were different than like the ones you get in the store or you get in like restaurants at like you know sizzler salad bar they were different yeah and they were amazing yeah so so we're gonna go to the valleys we're gonna go there um and I, don't, I mean, the downtown area of Florence, sorry, Jen's in my pointing path. Okay, sure, the, the, uh, the other side is, I only see those buildings down there, but I mean, that's all of, of the, the downtown, not downtown of Florence, but the, uh, the little, the old downtown, the, you know, the quaint part. So there's not much here, but we might go somewhere else. We might go to the North Jetty and check that out or head down to, has set ahead or something, I don't know. We're at the Marina RV Park. You can see how it's all back here. Those heads are pretty cool. Look right over the water. This is a, I don't know how much this costs. I have no idea. But it's right down here at the Marina. I mean, we were just, we were just right over there. So, a couple hundred yards away. So, you wanna be on the water. There you go. You know, cause the Thousand Trails isn't on the water. No. I mean, you have to drive like two miles to get to the road that parallels the beach. But then there's like a, a hundred foot dune. You have to walk up and then down, and then up and then down. And you're like, oh, it doesn't look that bad. It's steep and the sand gives way. And then sometimes the sand is really firm. solid, firm. firm, but not that firm. 
So you'll step on it and you'll like, oh, okay, that's firm ground. And then just as you're in the middle of your step, half of it gives way under half of your foot. And you're like, whoa. It's definitely a workout to get to the beach where we went yesterday. I mean, it's beautiful, but it was definitely a workout. I'm just glad the direction we headed, the wind was at our backs as we walked up. Yeah. Because if we had to walk up that hill and into the wind, it would have been <laughs> you probably wouldn't have crazy been hard. Thank you. Jen's getting the stuff. I got seats. She forgot to get chowder. Like, uh, I just forgot to charge me for it. So. All right, we got, we each got, here, I'll show you. The uh, crab cocktail. And I mean, they, they have a swimming pool full of, full of live crab in there. So, I mean, this stuff's fresh. And then I'm getting crab chowder. And I also got it. They only had enough to make one and one and like three quarters of these. So they, they cut me a discount on this one. The chowder. See? This is crab chowder. And based on my extensive research last time, I had chowder at Moe's, but I didn't have it at ICM. Whatever that is. No? Okay. And I had it at the crab kettle downtown. And then I've had this, which that's clam chowder in both those places. This is crab chowder. This was the best chowder. Not the best clam chowder because it doesn't have clams in it, but it's the best chowder, as far as I'm concerned, after my extensive research. So anyway, I'm putting the camera away so we can eat, and uh, we'll get back with you uh, when we're done. All right, we, uh, we just finished at Novelli's. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to come down through that gate, and then down here on, onto the, you know, let's see. Anyway, we just ate there. Uh, they're great. They, she said she was out till 11 o'clock last night yeah. crabbing in the wind. She actually drives the boat while her husband's crabbing and she said it was rocking and rolling last night and then she got here at 6 this morning to get everything ready and get the chowder made. So, yeah. so best best chowder in Florence, Novelli's, down here on the waterfront. And the crab cocktail, uh, this is the first time I had it. Fantastic. The crab was so fresh and just Oh, that's right. She didn't get one last time. Yeah. yeah, the crab cocktail was really good. I mean, they're small. I think the ones we got before might be bigger. I don't know. No, it was, the, they were like round and short, and these are like small and tall. But actually, it was just the perfect amount. Honestly, I thought it was perfect. The perfect amount is all you can eat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna head up and go walk downtown. We have to buy some olives and stuff. So maybe something else. Who knows? It's not low tide, but high tide's at like four tonight, or twenty something, and it's like. I don't know, it's like one o'clock. So it's lower tide. You can see down here on the, the this dock will be sitting up. So you can really higher. I think it, I calculated it yesterday, it was like a six and a half foot tide. You can see all the buildings back here in their piles and stuff. Those will all be up at water level, maybe underwater. Same with the piles over here. You can see the barnacles on them. It's crazy. And there's a bunch of people fishing and crabbing down there. You can crab from here to where the blue boat is but not past it for some reason and not the other way for some reason but and then you can eat right above it seems weird seems weird they have the crabbing and fishing right in front of the restaurants instead of down here on these docks that are kind of out of the way but that's what they have we went into windrift kites and jim bought a kite happy birthday honey thanks babe i spent well she bought it but it came out of our shared account. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. No sales tax. It was in Oregon. I'm, I'm if you're going to buy a kite, buy an Oregon because you don't have to pay sales tax. I'm easy to please. Why are people yelling? I don't know. So, but I'm easy to please. Anyway, now she has a kite. She can fly on the beach. She wanted one two years ago, but she was like, I don't want to buy a kite. I don't know how to spend money on myself. So I made her buy one. He did. But it's cool because so. the colors are cool. So I like it. All right. We're going to... Well, I was going to keep walking down the street, but there's like a gazillion people down there, so I think we might just cross. Okay. I'm scared. We didn't get any olives. Well, I, Jen got, what's, what's that stuff called? The, uh, you know, the chopped olive, like dip and stuff. I, I just, we just talked about it. Top, top and yod? No, it's not. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I got pepperoncinis. It says Greek peppers, but same thing, because they were fantastic here. Um, you know, and honestly, you know, because we're talking about, you know, buying a house and stuff. It's like, to be able to go some places, it's like stock up and then take it back home. But we can't do that now. We only have so much room. It's just, it sucks. You know, like there's, there's uh, olive oil and stuff in there. It's like, you know, it's, it's like, you know, if, if you, if you're able to, uh, you know, 
like just throw it in a box and keep it down in a bay or something and bring it home, but you can't. So I'm just waiting for her to pay. Is she done? No, she's still paying. Still paying. Yeah, I'd like to get some olive oils from her. I bet they have some really good ones. But you know how that is. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid people. People keep walking like right up, up to me, even though I'm filming. Well, there she is. I was just telling these people here that, you know, that's one nice advantage of part-timing and having a house is we could stock up on this stuff and then bring it back home with us and we'd have some place to keep it. That is true. But right now, we can't stock up on olive oil and stuff. Actually, they have bals balsamic vinegar in there, like blackberry and raspberry. I had to fight the urge. I had to fight yeah. the urge. And lots of, like, different olive oils and stuff. Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, a place called All About Olives. Yeah. So what's that stuff called you got? It's top and out. Top and uh, I was right, okay. Yeah. I, I couldn't, I kept thinking top and out and I'm like, I don't think that's right, but it is. So, anyway, we're almost back to the Jeep. No, we are, but we might be going in here. We might be going in here, however. All right, we're almost back to the Jeep. It's over there somewhere. So when we're done, we're gonna drive somewhere else. So we'll meet you over there. Just go over there and wait. We'll follow you. 20 minutes later. Hey, we're at the beach. It might be a little windy. Uh, this is Hasetta Head. The beach, the lighthouse is right up there. We were here last time. So we're not going to the lighthouse. And as you can see, uh, it, it was nowhere near this crowded last time we were here. I'm thinking that summer is just, it's always gonna be more crowded. Look at it, it's beautiful. And you know, still, it, it's just the, the wind is ripping. It's not bad here. But if you can see those clouds above me, see how fast they're moving? You might see some B-roll and go, oh, that's a nice time lapse. No, it's not time lapse. The clouds are just ripping by here. Careful, you might, uh, you might melt. There's a, there's a spring up here, you can see it dripping. I can walk under it. Because if you, uh, if you remember, oh, scary in there. It is scary in here. I want to leave. If you remember, we uh, we sort of half destroyed our camera last time because of all salt water. Well, this one's weather sealed. So it's got little rubbery membranes everywhere. So we're good to go. I can get it wet. I mean, I can't put it underwater. So I, I still don't it. really want to be in here. Sorry. It's very enclosed and kind of creepy. I'm going in here. Can you see that? Oh yeah, you can see that. So that's it. This is just a little cave. This is as far as it goes. Yeah, somebody had a fire back here. Somebody ate a banana. It's a little too rocky, you know, to, to do it in there, but you know, desperate times. All right, I don't know if we can go around that corner because of the tides in. At low tide, you can probably walk around and it's probably tide pools and stuff, but not right now. And we're in tennis shoes, so. We didn't know we were going to the beach necessarily, so we didn't bring any other footwear. We're gonna, we're gonna have to remember to do that. Ten seconds later. So we went over there. Wave came up immediately. Went right over my foot. Mine too. But Good. my sock's not wet. Unfortunately, my shoes have uh, holes for aeration, so my well, foot is wet. But well, at least those are her. I wore my new shoes again for some reason. I don't know why. Because <laughs> I didn't know we were going to the beach. That's Hesetta Beach. Hesetta. Hesetta. Head Beach. We're going to uh, keep our eye on these waves. Yep. And uh, I don't know where we're going to go. Probably shoot some B-roll. We might walk down under the bridge, look at the, the creek, just because there's nobody under there. <laughs> we walk down here. This is nothing very exciting. They're working on the bridge. See? You can hear machinery up there. So it's not very pleasant back here, even though there is less crowded than the beach. So anyway, I don't know where we're going to go. Somewhere. Quite somewhere to go. It's hard to find a place. Everything's super windy. We'd love to take you down to the to the beach, but oh my god, you probably hear right now. Super windy. So we're going to uh, turn this off and uh, just uh, go somewhere, and we'll we'll magically meet you there. All right, now we are at uh, Carl M. Washburn State Park. If you can even hear me, 
it's not that windy here, but I can promise you when we get down to the beach, see now it's windy. It'll be windy. Oh, now we're in this tunnel. So, oh, see, and then uh, solid berries. None of the berries are ready yet, unfortunately. Oh, and then there's some, uh, these are, uh, what are these? The ones with the little uh, jagged edges. We saw those too. I don't remember what oh, these are. Uh, some kind of. Some kind of. Are they uh, Maybe. Some kind of. These are all edible, but they're not ready yet. No. Unfortunately. Well, the solid berries are kind of mushy. They weren't bad, they're just mushy. A lot of people may like jam out of them and stuff. But uh, anyway, we'll go down here. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to talk. Maybe we'll just get with it when we come back. I don't know, but we're going to shoot B-roll of everything and have fun. A few minutes later. All right, uh, that's Devil's Churn. We were here last time too. There's the whole video. Lots of excellent shots of waves and stuff, but uh, we're going to stop. It is just howling wind out here. Right here it's calm. We're on a little lookout, but... Uh, it's just, it's You'll so see windy. In some of the B-roll though, at the last beach, the sand was blowing. I mean, it was epic. Yeah. It was epic, but it's not enjoyable and definitely couldn't film. It's too loud. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it's too windy right down here because you're in this little chasm, but everywhere else, I mean, it's like, it's pushing the Jeep around on the road. And I mean, it, it's, it's, it's uh, hopefully the wind will die down. It's supposed to die down maybe next week. So hopefully. I hope so. Hopefully. But uh, I guess that's it. We're just gonna end it here. We're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna do now. We might head back home. We might drive up a little further. I have no idea, but we're not taking you with us. So oh. deal with it. That means we're gonna let you go. And uh, Jen is going to say that thing that she says. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your amazing support. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and we'll see you all down the road. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.